find out the wrong number. So there's a series of numbers given to us, which has got some logic behind it. But then one number is a misfit here, right? 834, 207, 1661, 16617, and 1,99,417 follows a pattern. There is a rhythm behind these series, but one number does not belong to this series, right? It should be something else. So we are required to find out what that number is. Let me tell you, there is no shortcut to such questions. There is no, no formula, no technique, no shortcut. It's all by trial and error. You try with some logic, if that works out well and good. Otherwise, if you get an error, try with something else. But then how much time can you spend on such questions? You know, not more than 15, 20 seconds. I mean, on an average, we have about 36 seconds per question. And this one being, being you know, from a topic where there is no definite method, I think we should be very careful. The, the best solution to solve such questions when you have no clue is to just skip and go to the next one. See, you should always give it a shot, try it out. But when you sense that it's like too complex for you to crack, you better skip and just go to the next one. Or even when you try, don't spend more than 25, 30 seconds, maximum 30 seconds. If you get it, well and good. Otherwise, you know the solution is to just skip this. Now, there's no point in me trying it out here and wasting our precious time. Let me directly give you the logic. Yeah, let me explain you what the logic is. So this is how the, you know, the, the calculation is done here. Take the first number eight into four plus two gives you 34 8 into 4 32 32 plus 2 34 let me just list down the calculation behind every number and then we will discuss the logic next 34 into 6 plus 3 what is 34 into 6 uh, 180 plus 24 204 204 plus 3 207 so that gives us the number 207 you see from 8 we have arrived at 34 from 34 we have arrived at 207 the next calculation 207 into 8 plus 5 gives us the number 1661. Let's verify. What is 207 into 8? Uh, 1600 plus 7 8 is 56, right? 1656. 1656 plus 5 is 1661. Yeah? Then next calculation. 1661 times 10 plus 7. So 1661 into 10 is 16610 plus 7, 16617. So this is 16617. So going by this a calculation going by the logic here we have found that 34 207 1661 16617 are all correct so far so obviously the misfit here is the last number you know uh, 199417 anyway let's let's find out what the number should be or, or let me give you the next step it should be 16617 multiplied by 12 plus 11 16617 multiplied by 12 plus 11 and it will give you a number which is definitely not uh, 1,99,417. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure you can do the calculation yourself, right? 16,617 multiplied by 12. So that will give you like, uh, you know, 1,66,170 plus 2 times of 16,617 plus 11. Yeah, anyway, I mean, even if I go by unit space calculation, 7 into 2 ends with 4, 4 plus 1, 5. Answer should end with 5. I'm not doing the full calculation here. Let me just verify the unit space. One number ends in 7, the other number ends in 2. Their product will end with what? It will end with 4 because 7 times 2 is 14. It ends with 4. So this number now ends in 4, the other number ends in 1. The sum will end with what? 5. Answer should end with 5. The number given here, 1,99,417 ends with 7. So clearly, 1,99,417 is the wrong number. Yeah, so that's the answer. Now, I'm sure many of you will be confused about what the logic here is. The logic is simple, right? There are two things that we are doing here. Let me highlight each part here see if you if you see in one part we are multiplying the number with 4 6 8 10 12 so this should be easy for you to follow right we're just kind of increasing the number by 2 we are taking even numbers starting with 4 right 4 6 8 10 12 so the first step is to multiply the given number by 4 6 8 10 12 to get one part there what's the next part look at this the next part is to add 2, 3, 5, 7, 11. Now, what is this addition? 2, 3, 5, 7, 11. Does it have a pattern in it? Well, if you observe closely, yes, it does have a pattern here. What is it? We are adding prime numbers starting from 2. Yes or no? If you, if you observe closely, these are all prime numbers. Add prime numbers starting from 2. So, 2, then 3, then 5, then 7. See, we have not added 9 next. We have added 11 because 9 is not a prime number. 9 is a composite number. So, we are adding prime numbers. Yeah, and of course, this highlighted yellow part is very easy, right? 
multiplication with 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. So going by this logic, answer should be 1,99,417. Now, if you guys are wondering how do we get this logic in the exam, you're absolutely right. We, it, It's unlikely that one would get this idea during the exam when you're working under so much of pressure and then you have so limited time. I mean, if like maybe 10, 15 minutes are given with the question, maybe in, in that case, some of us crack it. I, I would have, I, I, in fact, to be very honest, I did not even crack it. I, I couldn't crack it at all. I, I just skipped it. And that's what I would have done in the exam. So if you think it's difficult in the exam, you're absolutely right. It's difficult to get such random logic, right? You have to really think divergently to uh, get such ideas in the exam. But then don't worry. You know the answer. What is the answer? SKIP. This is one of the best shortcuts that we have for solving questions of these categories in the exam. So remember, the first answer to this question is to skip it. And the next answer is, if you try, if you have enough time, you try, then this is the logic and the answer would be 1,99,417.